think we're in a real jam here and uh, hopefully we can uh, you know work on some innovative ways to get out of it. Brendan Williams of the New Hampshire Healthcare Association represents about 60 nursing homes in the state. He says finding help for those facilities is difficult across the board and doesn't see the problem getting better anytime soon. For whatever reason, even prior to the pandemic, our state saw a net loss of licensed nursing assistants, not available just to nursing homes, but also to hospitals and community health clinics, uh, home care settings. And so it's been a, a real problem here. Williams says facilities are even having trouble finding housekeepers and dietary workers because now nursing homes are in competition with a rebounding service economy that's offering better paying jobs that require less training. What we've seen historically is um, new graduates from nursing programs um, don't go into long-term care nursing because they want to you know, focus more in the acute care setting working in hospitals. Craig Labor says the Grafton County Nursing Home is operating with about 20% fewer nurses, but says that's been offset since they are only running at about 70% capacity. I think what we've seen is that as our nursing staff, um, you know, we don't have new nurses coming into long-term care. And so I think as our nurses that we do have get to retirement age and, start, you know, and then transition out, there isn't anybody coming in to fill those positions. William said people don't get into the nursing home field to get rich, but they also don't expect to be poor. Reporting live, I'm Andy Hirschberger, WMUR News 9.